excited about this. From this group may come a great musician. I mean, you're already great to begin with as native person. Thanks to Mr. Bossy and iSpot Music and all of your affiliates, we've gotten the guitars, some drums, keyboards, bass guitars, and we're starting kind of like a, you know, like a modern rock band type genre for the classes. Yeah, and you would you put that one there. That one there. Yeah, and they just put the last one. to South Dakota thank you so much for all the amazing things that you have done for our school and for our children that you have given us instruments that you have given us these opportunities and these resources for our kids who wouldn't otherwise have them so I really very much appreciate it thank you I just want to say that I'm really excited to be a part of the first music program that we're having here at the school and I don't know how many years I was talking to one of the girls here and she was saying it's been so long since they've had a music program and to me music is everything I mean I wake up in the morning listening to my son singing and it's there's no greater feeling of pride than to hear them harmonizing to hear them oh. drumming to hear them making music and for them they're making music to the creator and I think that all the music that we make in our life is for the creator we're honoring the creator we're honoring our parents we're honoring are the people that left behind were doing it for a reason and just like when we had Sage here today he really loved to play music for his grandfather, his grandfather loved to hear him play violin you know and he was so proud of him we we're all so proud of him but I think that music is going to make a big difference for the children that are here yeah. because it's going to give them something to um, take home something that they can have privately that they can just practice and do what they want they can do anything with music and they can you know make themselves feel good with it, they can make other people, the more they share it, you know, the better it gets. So I think that um, we just need to encourage them and give them everything that they need, give them the tools that they need so that music is their whole life because it, it always been for Indian people, you know. Even out east they have what we call the ringing rocks and the people listen for the music that those ringing rocks make out there. Or even when we talk about the streams in the, in the springtime when you hear the brooks, the babbling brooks, and the music. I mean, it's just really soothing to hear the sounds that, you know, we're given. So, to me, you know, music is everything. I'm just so grateful that, you know, we've had people that are interested, that care enough about Native people to help us put together something, you know, and yep. for Doug, we just, you know, owe everything to him for connecting with me and um, thinking that it's important that he's willing to share and, you know, I could just see his excitement today when, you know, the kids were excited. So for me, that was, it was just, it was priceless to see all that happen. You know, I'm just really, really grateful. You know, I believe uh, the kind of music that we make, we can make it from various instruments. We use the drum, of course, the hand drum. We use the big platform, the, the big powwow drums. We use the flute and we use the tamarind and... Uh, uh, you know, there's you can make music with anything with with two rocks. You know, clicking away. You can, uh, and you can you know, music comes from the birds and from the animals, and so music is is really a, a worldwide uh, language. I mean, that that everybody can participate in, no matter if we can't understand or speak each other's language. The, when it comes time to singing, like. Uh, I was kind of having, when I was in Japan, I was, uh, I know some Japanese music and I know some Eng English music, but then what music did they know in Japan that, that, I, that I could chime in on? And they knew Bob Marley's song. They, they had everything was going to be all right. 
Then they they had the one from I think it was John Lennon. Imagine was that? The, oh. And so I, I I chimed in with that one because I knew I knew the melody and I knew the words and some of the words. But uh, I I think that like like if we sing like. Well, oh, well, oh, well, oh. In a matter of moments, people will, even though they won't know the chanting, but they'll start. They'll start doing this with it because keeping in time. So, it it is. It is. It's a worldwide. I mean, music is so great. I mean, that's the first. That's the first language that the babies hear. When the mothers are putting them to sleep, singing or humming, I mean the song. So it's great, you know. And, and that's why I said I, I'm very proud to be part of this project because I was watching those kids and they respond to Sage. See, I mean, they were, they heard them clapping for about the American Indian movement, but to hear Sage do the violin and oh my God, it was just they were. They were like that, and all of a sudden they, all of a sudden they're rushing. He's going to be a great. He's going to be a rock star. Mm -hmm. He already is. Yeah. I just wanted to say one thing about the music too is that I remember this man coming to our house, and he was talking to my son Buddy, and he was, you know, at that point he was wanting to be able to have the sacred pipe, and he was not. He was in the native, and so Buddy was talking to him, and he said, you know, the way I've been told, he said there are four races of man. There's red, yellow, black, and white. Every one of them, he said, if you go back in history, every one of their histories show that they had a drum. And they all had songs. They all had their own songs. So it goes back that far. You know, so for him to say that, and I just wanted to, I just wanted to reiterate that and say, you know, we all have, we all started with music. And just to go a little bit further on what Dennis said about rocking the baby, I think it even goes before that when they, when they hear the, the rhythm of the mother's heartbeat. Because I know with my grandchildren, when they would, and my children, when they would get fussy and we couldn't calm them down, I would put them on my shoulder, on my left shoulder, and rock them. And, and what an older lady told me is, put them on your left shoulder because they can feel your heartbeat. Mm. And they're very familiar with it. Oh. They can hear that. So that's, that's the first sound of a, a beat they're going to hear, you know. So I really love that.